What's up, everybody? Happy Thursday. Hope everyone's having a good day. Got a real exciting video today. Part two, who is Satoshi Nakamoto? We cover in a real important candidate that I did not cover in my first video. This candidate isn't new. They've been theorized for a while to be a possible Satoshi Nakamoto. In today's video, I'll go over all the evidence pointing towards them being Satoshi. And then at the end, I will give my opinion before we get into that, don't forget to like the subscribe button, follow me on Twitter at Ben Crypto Show, and also before we begin tomorrow, I'll be doing a deep dive video on Adam Newman's new project, Flow, which I've covered a little bit in the last couple of weeks here. This is a crypto project. I know some people were wondering about that. It is a crypto project. It's gone through a couple iterations already. There isn't really too much information on the current sort of version of this project, but they did just get $350 million. And at this point, since the price action is very weak in crypto, any new project like this that's just going to you know, get a lot of people talking about it, generate a lot of buzz, that is very good for the space. Love him or hate him, this project's good for the space. Be watching out for that new altcoin review video tomorrow. So let's get into the video today. So why am I doing this video? Again, I didn't include this person in the last video. In the last video I did, over 7,000 views. It is my number one most watched video. And also highest click-through rates, highest watch time, a real popular video. Check that one out if you didn't already. I covered four candidates there that might be Satoshi Nakamoto today. Part two, so who is the Satoshi that I left out? Adam Bach is his name. That's what he looks like. Who is he exactly? He's British. He's an applied cryptographer. He has a PhD in comp side distributed systems, which if you were creating Bitcoin, that would really come in handy right there. So more about him. So again, he's British. Uh, he's the CEO of Blockstream, which he co-founded in 2014. Blockstream is a very relevant company today in crypto. They have $100 million in VC funding. <clears throat> they appear to be kind of like a hybrid sort of crypto company, offers a bunch of different services, mining services, a bunch of different wallets, cryptocurrency data feed services. So Adam Bach is still a very relevant, relevant, <clears throat> excuse me, relevant player in crypto today which is what kind of separates him from some of the other candidates on the list. But besides Blockstream, his most famous claim to fame is the 1997 invention <clears throat> of Hash Cash, which is known to be a precursor to Bitcoin. So without getting into too many technical specifics, it's a proof-of-work algorithm that Satoshi Nakamoto referenced in the Bitcoin white paper, this part right here. To implement a distributed timestamp server on a peer to peer basis, we will need to use a proof of work system similar to Adam Back's Hashcash. So, Satoshi himself was a big fan of Hashcash, which came 10 years earlier. More evidence as to the connection between Satoshi and Adam Back. So, the first email that Satoshi ever sent out in the forums, it was to a guy named Why Die, but it referenced Adam Back. Here is the email. Uh, August 2008, I was very interested to read your B-Money page. I'm getting ready to release a paper that expands on your ideas and the complete working system. Adam Back of hashpacash.org noticed similarities and pointed me to your site. So Satoshi was a big Adam Back fan. Additionally, that's sort of suspicious, is that Adam Back is the only original member of those early Bitcoin adopters that never received a documented email from Satoshi Nakamoto. Why die? He received the first email from Satoshi Nakamoto. Hal Finney received multiple emails from Satoshi Nakamoto. Adam Back never received one that we know of. So again, this might be, you know, indicative of Satoshi and Adam Back, if they were the same person, obviously Satoshi wouldn't be sending Adam Back emails. Let's move on. More evidence. Adam Back is proficient in C++ programming, which is the language that <clears throat> Bitcoin was coded in. And you would think all those early adopters were versed in this coding language. They weren't. He, Adam Back, was the only one who was very highly versed in C++. More evidence, Adam Back is British, and in the forums, when he was posting under his own name, Adam Back, he talked in British slang, analyze with an S, spelled favor with O-U-R, organize with an S, use the word bloody difficult, those are very British slang expressions. And Satoshi Nakamoto, when he was posting in the forums, on the BitcoinTalk.org forums that Satoshi created, Satoshi talked in British slang. He was known to talk in British slang. 
Additionally, both Adam Back and Satoshi Nakamoto used two spaces after a period. See, here is Adam Back in the BitcoinTalk.org forums, two spaces. Here he is in another post, two spaces. Here's the white paper written by Satoshi Nakamoto, two spaces, two spaces, etc. Then additionally, the design style, the website design style between the two websites, cypherspace.org and bitcoin.org, were very similar. Now, so what are these two websites? Cypherspace.org was the website before bitcoin.org was created. I believe Cypherspace was created in the early 2000s. So all the early cyberpunks before Bitcoin was around, they talked on that website. And then in 2000, and, and cypherspace.org, that was created by Adam Back. And then bitcoin.org, that was created in 2008 by Satoshi Nakamoto. And so 2008, that's when all the Bitcoin early adopters, they took all their conversations to the Bitcoin.org website and Satoshi posted there regularly under his own name for two years until 2010. So again, it wouldn't be that big a deal if the website design, see here's the design of cypherspace.org, it looks like that. Here's the Bitcoin.org website, it looks like this. So if these websites were created in 1997, that wouldn't be that suspicious. Because all websites kind of looked like this sort of generic design style with 2008. You know, Bitcoin.org is uh, created and it still uses this minimalist design style. That's a little bit interesting. More evidence. So Adam Back, again, he created cypherspace.org and he posted regularly on his own name there. He had a three-year posting hiatus from late 2007 to March of 2010. And then he starts posting again. So again, this coincides perfectly with the Bitcoin.org website being created in 2008. And then Satoshi Nakamoto posting regularly there from 2008 to 2010. This is highly indicative of, you know, if they were the same person, Adam Back just kind of sort of stopped posting regularly on cypherspace.org, just started posting for two years on Bitcoin.org under Satoshi's name. And then when Satoshi stopped posting in 2010, Adam Back just start posting again under his regular name, Adam Back on cypherspace.org. More evidence. Adam Back used to put out lots of research papers and patents on just general computer science related stuff. He sort of just stopped doing that there during the entire time that Bitcoin was created. So here's his research papers. He came out with nothing from 2003 to 2013. And then with the patents, it was a shorter time frame. I think it was like maybe 2006 to 2007. He just stopped coming out with patents until again, 2013. So this is in line with, you know, he's a regular researcher, regular patent creator for computer science stuff. But once he discovered Bitcoin and then that became his main project, all of his other side work just stopped and he put all of his time and attention into Bitcoin related stuff. And then here's where it gets kind of weird. So again, as I was saying, Bitcoin.org was created in 2008 by Satoshi Nakamoto and he posted for two years into 2010. Adam Bach didn't post on that website. He, as I said, then in 2010, he went back to posting under uh, on cyberspace.org under Adam Back, his regular name. But then Adam Back just started randomly posting on Bitcoin.org on his own name, April 17, 2013. So he held off for five years and then he just came full throttle posting on his own name then. So why that day? Well, it coincides with this article coming out right here. Same day, this article came out, The Well-Deserved Fortune of Satoshi Nakamoto, Bitcoin Creator, Visionary, Genius. This article was noteworthy because this is the first time Satoshi's size, of the size of Satoshi's stack of Bitcoin was revealed. Before this, no one knew how many Bitcoin he owned. This was the first time it was revealed. And it was obviously revealed that it was a lot of Bitcoin, that he was a mega billionaire. And then, so here's where it gets weird. So then Adam Back just immediately starts posting on Bitcoin. So at this point, 2013, no one's really posting on cypherspace.org. That wasn't a trendy site to post on. All the early Bitcoin people, most of them are posting on this one. So if you want to have your voice heard and you're somebody in Bitcoin in the early days, you want to be posting at bitcoin.org. So then he just all of a sudden just comes out swinging. He's sort of, he seems kind of antagonistic here. He's sort of making fun of Satoshi Nakamoto. He seems a little pissed off. 
So here he's saying, you know, don't sweat at people. Satoshi could probably get by in a few million play money from his post privacy bug fixing mining hoard until there's a solution. Or maybe he can find a private buyer via a lawyer in Swiss banking services, sarcastic, or perhaps we're forced to implement zero coin to protect him. Ha ha, smiley face. Here he's saying that's kind of an unfortunate privacy bug. Con coincidentally, I thought about it fixed a few, a few potential issues like this in Hashcash. Here he's saying basically Hashcash was better than Bitcoin. So this sort of just random posting in an angry sort of making fun of Satoshi context, this is perfectly in line with somebody who just randomly figures out one day that a colleague is making much more money to, than them, but they believe that they are a much more skilled worker than that colleague. So again, this was the day Satoshi's stack of Bitcoin was revealed. It was a ton. So you might guess that Adam Back, first time he found out the size of Satoshi's stack, and it was much bigger than his own stack. So he was pissed off, especially because he thinks that he, you know, that Hashcash is superior to Bitcoin and that he thinks he's basically the more skilled technical worker than Satoshi was. And again, last piece of evidence doesn't really tie in too much, but around this time, uh, Adam Back did move to Malta from England, which Malta is known for its very generous tax law. So you might move to a place like Malta if you're going to come into a huge lump sum payment and you don't want it taxed, or in his case, maybe. You know, obviously he, had, he has his stash of Bitcoin. It clearly wasn't as large as Satoshi's stack, but he still had a large stack. So maybe he was going to cash out the Bitcoin. And that's why he moved to Malta to get a much lower tax rate on that one lump sum cash out. Maybe, maybe not. That's just conjecture at that point. But that is that. So anyway, that's the video there. Hope you liked that. Uh, again, my first video was very popular. I like to do what popular videos are about. And Adam Back was just a very important person that I left out of that video. So I thought I'd devote an entire video here. So one of my conclusions, clearly is one of the early adopters. He appears to be the second or third person in the early Bitcoin days, along with Wydai and Hal Finney. I don't think Adam Back is the one sole Satoshi Nakamoto, or I don't think if it was a group of people, he's the number one most senior person necessarily, just due to the fact he was clearly angry when Satoshi's stack of Bitcoin, the size of it, was revealed. So I think that that is more indicative. It's my opinion. I think that's more indicative of somebody who is second or third in line and just finds out that somebody more senior than them, that they think that they're more talented than them, is making more money than them. That's my guess right there. Nonetheless, very important person, Adam Back to crypto, and he's still running Blockstream, huge company with $100 million VC funding. So he's a great contribution to the ecosystem. That is it for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe button, drop a comment here, anything, what you think about Adam Back or any other people you think were involved. What your opinion is, be on the lookout tomorrow for my Flow new altcoin review. Ben Crypto signing out. Catch you later.